Round five of the 2010 Dextro Energy Triathlon World Championship Series. We are here in the Olympic City of London. An incredible opportunity to see Mr. Alistair Brownlee head to head with Gomez and Ferdino. 70 plus men, the water well over 20 degrees and there will definitely be no wetsuits worn today. A little bit of overcast, almost perfect conditions for some fast racing. Not too much of a surprise when you have a couple Brownlees in the first three or four as they go around the corner into that bunch. Petzold from Germany as well. Ferdino swimming extremely well. Chris Gimmel into the lead bunch, but look at the havoc there as the men come around the corner. Very tightly bunched. Petzold getting the goggles back on. You can see the two Brownlees into the group as they go back in. Chris Gimmel with a fantastic swim. 750 meters still to go. Tim Dawn a little bit further back than he would like to be. Brad Kullefeldt with a very solid swim through the early stages as well. But be coming out of the water, that is Alistair Brownlee. He's actually had his goggles ripped off at some point. It's been an aggressive day already. Alistair Brownlee, Petzl, Jonathan Brownlee, Connect Trio get away into the transition zone. Frederick Bilabre with a very solid swim. Brad Kullefeldt, Chris Gimmel, some of the big names all into that group. Getting ready to head out. There's Berkankov just coming into the scene. Javier Gomez with a very solid swim as well. They'll be heading out, eight laps. 40 kilometers wide and very flat, so can anyone get away on this course? And that is Alistair Brownlee, who's immediately trying to see if anyone will come with him, the man who was almost undefeated over the last couple of years and last year's world champion. And it doesn't take long. A bit of a crash right there. That looks like Peter Crows is down. Crows down for sure. A couple of other athletes getting around there. Brad Kullefeldt, very fortunate. You can see Ferdino looking very fortunate that he was not taken down. Peter Crow's back up, trying to make a go. And there is Alistair Brownlee getting frustrated. Will anyone work with me, he says, as they're in the middle sections of this bike course here in High Park. And there is Brownlee, Gomez, Ferdino. Dockerty into that bunch. Almost 45 men right now. Chris Gimmel getting frustrated. Will anyone make a move? I think they're all waiting now for the 10 kilometer run that's expected to be very fast and a bit of a break here. You're looking over the shoulder and we have seen a couple mini breaks throughout the day. Will anyone be able to get away? I think that was Jonathan Brownlee. Bruno Paez into that bunch. There's Stuart Hayes, so another mini break now later on. Stuart Hayes, a part of that group. We're coming to the late stages of this 40 kilometer bike ride and it does look like that breakaway is going to stay away. Small group of about six or seven men back to the huge chase pack, however. And the big names, Gomez and others in the chase pack, but about a 50 second gap now to this lead group. Avon Rania sitting in that group. Colucci, Bruno Paez, Stuart Hayes into that bunch. Clark Ellis is into the group as well. He's in a good position. As they get ready to head out onto the three lap, 10 kilometer run, they'll have about a 50 second gap. And who will have the run legs? Bruno Paez first to head out, and here they come, the chase group. Fredino, Gomez, Colafell, Whitfield, the Brownleys into this group. Who will have the legs last year? Remember, it was Alistair Brownlee winning here. There he is, gotta get ready. Usually he's the first man out of the transition zone. He will not be today. Fredino and about a dozen others ahead of him, so he is gonna have to make up a bit of time. There goes Javier Gomez, Gimmel just behind, Jonathan Brownlee just behind him. They've got 50 seconds to make up to catch the leaders who got off the bike just ahead of them. A huge crowd here looking at the men that might be representing their countries in 2012. A Van Rania right there. There's Stuart Hayes, the two of them trying to hang on as long as possible. Certainly faster running coming up from behind. You can see Ferdino and the bunch, and as the leaders are just about to be caught, there are the Brownleys, one, two, Gomez, Ferdino, so four men running faster than anyone else as they come through the middle stages. Jonathan Brownlee really pushing the pace. Alistair Brownlee looking like he's suffering just a bit. Javi Gomez looks terrific. Jan Ferdino trying to hang on to the back, and it looks like Ferdino has been dropped. Alistair Brownlee now making a surge. Look at the fatigue on his face. Gomez hanging in fourth place right now, Jan Ferdino. If he stays in the top four, he'll be the number one ranked man going to Kitzbühel. And now Gomez starting to move away. Look at the fatigue on Alistair Brownlee's face. We have never seen him look like this before. Javier Gomez looking over the shoulder. Alistair Brownlee trying desperately to come. Jonathan now has been cracked back and forth to Ferdino. And here they come. It's less than 350 meters to the finishing line. Javier Gomez looks like he has cracked last year's world champion. Look at him now. And here comes Jonathan Brownlee through. Javier Gomez in lead. 
Jonathan in second. Alistair Brownlee has cracked. Can he hang on for third? You can see him suffering. No, there is third is Rodino. It is going to be World Cup and World Championship win. Number 12, twice in eight days. Gomez is going to be victorious in London. What an incredible race. Just over an hour and 42 minutes. He will be 29.30 for that 10 kilometer run. What an incredible day for Gomez from Spain. Here comes Jonathan Brownlee. We would have anticipated the older brother, but no, Jonathan crosses in second. Frodino will come in across the line in third and still no sight of Alistair Brownlee. What a great day. You can see Frodino, he will come across the bronze medalist. He will stay in number one going off to Kitzbühel. Well, what an incredible run out there. Javier Gomez took it up another notch. Alistair Brownlee cracked for the first time in his career. Here comes Jared Shoemaker in across the line in seventh place. Eighth will be Stuart Hayes. What a great day from him. And here is Alistair Brownlee. He is suffering. There's no question that he is out of carbohydrates, very low blood sugar. He will cross the line in a very, very gutsy 10th place. And as the medical team take him off, I'm sure an IV and he will be better. What a day. Alistair Brownlee did the work in the swim, did the work on the bike, pushed the pace on the run. And as he's taken off right there to the medical, there comes his mother into the finishing line area. A bit of a nervous day. Jonathan Brownlee following as well. But all eyes on Javier Gomez, who will claim victory for the second time in eight days. Jonathan Brownlee, a great performance. And the man who will remain number one, Jan Ferdino, the Olympic Games gold medalist, going after that sacred world championship title. He could become the first ever to have a gold medal at the Olympics and world championships. Jonathan Brownlee have a bit of a struggle with the champagne, but not on the performance today. What a great race for Brownlee.